The thing is, almost nothing is known about the deep waters around Australia. One of the opportunities of using Falcor and ROV Sebastian is really to take scientists as well as the people at home to these places that haven't been explored before, right here on Earth. So this area faces the Southern Ocean, which is extremely important in the whole ocean atmosphere climate system. The deep oceans is kind of like the engine of climate slowly moving but actually ultimately controls the destiny of our planet almost. We should remember that we are the first to explore this canyon using the Sebastian ROV, so we would not be surprised to find new form of life. Oh, wow. Somebody's painting the ecosystem red. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. Paleoceanography is basically the study of the ocean in the past. We're trying to have a look at how the environment has changed through time. It's not just coral reef, how beautiful is that? But we see it slightly deeper, you know, we see how old are these corals, how much information we recorded. When they build this skeleton, they preserve the chemical information inside the skeleton. For example, temperatures, pH, nutrient contents. Ah, these things can be a thousand years old, right? These things grow up very slowly through the ocean. And actually, it's been recording all these changes in the ocean for the last, say, thousand years. It's almost like we pick up this book. And you just need to know the code, how to read this. You know, it's live with us on the same planet and help us to answer questions we worry about. And with environmental books, you know, the only way you can understand what's recorded in them is to characterize very carefully modern conditions, to compare modern day conditions with what's written in the last page of the book. So yeah, it's quite complicated. It's not trivial to decode these records. It's obviously a team effort. And it starts with the ROV crew, they're incredibly talented and skilled because obviously you wouldn't be able to do anything without being able to get good samples. And then to get them back into the lab, of course it's a team exercise to get them prepared, archived and treated and ultimately analysed. As paleoceanographers we use this archive to understand the climate variability in the past that are extremely important to understand also the climate in the future. 